When it comes to cryptocurrencies, one of the biggest challenges is transaction speed. Bitcoin handles seven transactions per second, and it takes about 10 minutes to be completed. On the other hand, Ethereum handles 30 transactions per second, and it takes about five minutes to be completed. This can nowhere be compared to the over 2,000 transactions processed by Visa in a second. How then can there be a wider adoption of cryptocurrencies if it cannot process large transactions daily? This is where Solana comes in. What is Solana? In this video, I will explain what Solana is, what you can do on Solana, and if it's a good investment, to buy Solana right now. My name is Judy Mano and I make crypto related videos that will educate you, make you money and protect your crypto assets. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel if not and click on the bell icon so you don't miss any of the fantastic content we make here on this channel. Solana is a layer one blockchain that aims to increase transaction speed and host decentralized application called dApps without losing decentralization. Solana handles over 60,000 transactions per second and it takes less than two minutes to be completed. Even with the transaction speed, Solana charges less than $0.00025 as a transaction fee, making it one of the cheapest blockchain. The Solana blockchain uses a combination of proof of stake and proof of history consensus mechanism. The team opted for different consensus algorithms to avoid slow transaction confirmation. Proof of stake is a consensus mechanism that lets a selected few persons called validators confirm transaction in a blockchain at each point based on certain conditions. These validators stake millions of dollars worth of the coin. So in cases of an attack on the network, these validators loses half of their coins for letting that attack happen. I made a well-detailed video on proof of work and proof of stake consensus mechanism. The link is in the description. Make sure you can watch that video for clearer understanding of this concept. For proof of history, time stamps are created that prove that a block was created at a certain time. Think of it this way. If you visit an athletic competition at the Olympic Games and take a photo of it, you create a proof that the photo was taken during the competition, not before, not after, because the competition took place at a specific time with proof of history. With proof of history, you basically create a history record that proves an event took place at a specific time. The Solana blockchain has an average of 1,500 validators that processes transactions per day. To be eligible as a validator, there are no specific amount of coin you should have. However, you need to purchase some computing material as displayed in the screen, which are very expensive. SOL, S-O-L, is a native and the utility token of the Solana blockchain. It has a market cap of $13 billion at the point of making this video. Since its launch in 2017 by Anatoly Yakovenko, Solana has grown to become one of the largest cryptocurrency in the world, standing as a strong rival to Ethereum, Cardano, and the rest of the layer one blockchains. What can you do on Solana? Solana is an open source blockchain, which means that developers can use it in a variety of ways. Here are a few examples of what you can do on the Solana ecosystem. Minting, selling and trading non-fungible tokens, NFTs. Developing decentralized finance applications such as decentralized crypto exchanges, building blockchain games, Web3 games and partnership with big name companies such as FTX, Lightspeed and Forth. If you're still wondering if Solana is a good investment and whether you should buy it now or not, the answer is still up to you. But hold on. It has its demerits like any existing crypto project. First and foremost, 
the Solana blockchain is still vulnerable to centralization even while claiming to be decentralized due to these few reasons. The processes for verification and confirmation of transactions are few. Network outages and reliance on the Solana Foundation. Secondly, the Solana blockchain has been faced with a series of attack. For example, on the 3rd of August, a hacking attack drained over $6 million from 8,000 wallets linked to the Solana network. On the 1st of June 2022, the Solana blockchain suffered a power outage for over four hours, bringing every activity in the ecosystem to a standstill. There have been numerous times the Solana ecosystem experienced these outages. Can a project like this be really trusted? Despite these issues, Solana is still one of the biggest ecosystems in the crypto industry and seems to be on the right path to growth. The price has plunged by 84% from its all-time high at the point of making this video. The current price is at $39. However, this is due to the general crypto plan because most other cryptocurrencies have fallen as far as this. So, for Solana, it is still up to you to decide if you want to buy or not. Note that none of this is financial advice, it's just for informational purposes only. Guys, we have come to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give the video a like, subscribe if you have not, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any of our amazing content. Guys, when I get to 100,000 subscribers, I'm doing a massive giveaway. So help me get there quickly by subscribing and sharing the videos for others to also subscribe. Check out other videos in this channel where I have a lot of amazing content. I'll see you in the next video.